Let's talk about Cincinnati and Indiana. And who 38 to 24, Cincinnati gets this W. Michael Penix. It, he ain't he ain't right. Something something is way wrong. Two touchdowns, three picks, but he was 17 out of 40 for 224 yards. Uh his QBR was not good. My if you watch the Bet US show, my point on this, why I did not bet on Cincinnati was I need to see Indiana's defensive line against Cincinnati's offensive line. And early on, because I said if they can make Desmond Ritter uncomfortable, because he's not been uncomfortable in forever, if they can make him uncomfortable, even with an early kick and whatnot, then then Indiana's got a shot in this game because I think that their offensive line can help them run the ball, and they did. Indiana's rushing attack, 37 carries, 152 yards, 4.1 per carry. But here's the deal. In the first half, the majority of the first half, they were averaging like six yards a clip. That's and, right. and since he got it fixed in the second half, cheers to him. They were down 14 to 10 at the half and came out in the second half and, and blew the doors off Indiana. Absolutely took advantage of every miscue, everything, forced Penix into some really bad decisions and it, it found a way to win this ballgame. I mean, the numbers are not great as far as offense goes at all. Jerome Ford. 20 carries, 66 yards, only 3.3 per carry. Desmond Ritter, 10 carries, 45 yards. He threw the ball 20 out of 36, 210 yards, one touchdown, one pick. I Penix is is not – Casey jumps in on the chat. He said, Penix definitely ain't healthy. He's a top-five college quarterback when healthy, but Ritter and Sauce are my dogs, and since he's going undefeated, baby. Since he may go undefeated, they might. But that Notre Dame game looks a lot more questionable now because when since he was just running off like 42 to 7 games – it, it made you think of them differently. When they were getting dominated early in this game, it kind of made me question that, right? I it, I don't know what the perception is yeah. at this point. So, go ahead. So, my, my, breakdown, my breakdown of this team was, uh, this game was, I believed both these teams mirrored one another more than any matchup that we were going to see this weekend. Okay? I think both of these football coaches are built identically. I think they play the exact same style. I think they want to, get you with, you know, aggressive pass rush, I guess aggressive defense on the front seven. They want to suffocate you in the back and 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 they want to run the football. What I found weird and why I think Cincinnati struggled was instead of trying to uh, develop the run game early, they came out trying to throw the football early and Ritter struggled. And, 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 he, and he looked like he wasn't right. And instead of saying, okay, let's try to establish the run and see if we can get a little confidence going in the offense and a little bit of, you know, relieve a little bit of this pressure from the defense because the defense was just all over Ritter's ass. It, they just kept forcing it, thinking we got to get Ritter in a, in a rhythm. And I think they wasted a quarter and a half of football doing that. And then finally, the, the back end of the first quarter, uh, the, the, the first half, the second quarter, they finally said, to hell with it. We have to try to run the football. And they were able to get a couple of first downs, and they were able to run the ball, and they were able to open some things up. And that made Ritter more comfortable. I just think they made the mistake of, of, of trying to, to start the game with passing, and, and it just kind of fell on them because Indiana's defense is no joke. I think that's the best defense they're going to play all year. Sorry, Notre Dame. I think Indiana's defense is better than them. Their defensive line is, Penix, is no joke, man. No joke. No, no. Penix, Penix was Penix was bad the second half of this game. Penix was great the first half of the game. This is a tale of I'm trying to figure out is Penix not right, or did Cincinnati say, We've got this figured out now? We know what he's doing. We know what they're gonna try. We got a we got a first half of football. Now we're gonna make adjustments and we're just gonna not let him run. And, and we're going to make him stay in the pocket. We're going to make him throw. And when he throws, we're going to beat him. Because that's what happened. They stopped being able to run the football completely in the second half. And that's how Cincinnati took over and, and was able to, to, to dominate the entire second half. They yeah. got dominated the first half. They yes. absolutely got dominated. The first uh, half. Post-game they, win expectancy, by the way. Post-game win percentage. Uh, Cincinnati, with the, with the stats in the game, Cincinnati would have won the game 57% of the time. And typically, you don't see a game that close. Uh, being a two-touchdown game. Like, <laughs> normally you don't see that. That's right. 
So, That's right. Well, but it becomes a two touchdown game because of the turnovers, yes, right? Yes. Like if absolutely. you don't if you don't get the turnovers, then then the game is substantially closer than than we all think it is. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.